Hey, uh, I'm John Staub, the head baseball coach. Okay. Um, how do you feel about this season overall? Incredible. What would be like your best memory? Uh, team chemistry. It's been awesome. Yeah. What would you say was your best win so far this season? Uh, best win would be when we played Indiana area down in Myrtle. We were down 10 runs and we came back and won. So that was a big win. I think it was a turning point where our guys felt like they could beat anybody. What was the hardest loss to take? Hardest loss was Urbana. Yep, we got beat by Urbana the last week of the year. It was a one-run game. It was a good game, but uh, we were outplayed. It was a tough loss. It was senior day. Um, was there anything that you learned this season to use in the future? Uh, we spent a lot of time on the mental approach to the game, so um, I felt like that's worked well and the kids have bought into it. That's something we've done that's new. I'd like to carry that over. Mm -hmm. and So I think the mental approach more than anything. What would you say was the main reason for the success that you've had this season? Our seniors. They've been great leaders. Um, what do you look for when choosing players? Uh, skills, but also uh, guys that are team guys first um, and can fulfill a role on the team. So we look at a lot of things, really. Um, athleticism, team, uh, guys that are team first, and uh, role players. Do you set any goals for your players? Do I set any goals for our players? They, get, they set goals for themselves more than I set goals for them. So we talk about goals at the beginning of the year. What do you aim to achieve in practices? Uh, win the practice. <laughs> so to get better. Um, and usually we're working on a, either a certain skill or a certain play. So uh, try to get better. Um, what kind of em emphasis do you put on school? Oh, I talked to this talk to them a lot about that. Every time there's an eligibility sheet I go around, they don't like that usually when I walk towards them, but try to remind them of the importance of their grades and making sure they're eligible. So we visit that at least once a week. Yeah. And those are probably the top priorities for your athletes? Well, yeah, that's say? yeah, that's why they're here. So got to get an education, obviously. Anything above that's a, a bonus. So. Um, would you say that media places a big effect on yeah, you got to be careful what you say to the media. Uh, it's, it's interesting. We've had more media uh, attention this year because of our record. And the media has actually uh, used some words that I didn't use, so I have to go back and talk to my players about what I said and, and the context in which I said it. So that's, that's kind of an added burden to coaching. But um, it's obviously a good one to have because if the media is following you, you're having a good year. So. Is there anything specific you do to motivate your players, like pre-game routines or anything? Um, no, not really. I mean, we, uh, you know, other than setting goals and, and uh, talking to them about certain objectives we may have in a game, we go over scouting report, we go over objectives that we'd like to accomplish in a given day or week. Uh, this team's been pretty self-motivated. They're, they're a group of guys that uh, enjoy playing the game, and uh, I haven't had to worry too much about motivating them, which has been nice. Um, you said, like, your favorite memory was the team chemistry. Yeah. What yeah. did you do to promote team work? Uh We have team dinners on every Friday night, which helps. Um, I meet with the captains once a, once a month, and we have lunch and talk about how to build team chemistry. We talk often as a team, so we usually spend – some time before practice, uh, a few minutes talking about team chemistry, or we we uh, we single out a certain individual and talk about how important they've been to the team. So we do those things to try to promote team chemistry. So, what was your summer training like this S year? summer training? We have t a lot of our guys play baseball in the summer, um, and we get together and work out informally once a week. But other than that, not a not a whole lot because they're also playing a lot of other sports. Most we've got a lot of guys that are two sport, three sport guys, so they're busy with football, and we've got a couple guys with basketball too. So it's always a trick trying to share with everybody. Yeah. Um, you said the seniors helped a lot. Yep. For your successful season, who do you think will step up next season? Well, hopefully our juniors. Yeah. yeah especially Zach Bauman. I mean, yeah, we need we need him to step up and. All our juniors. We've got four juniors on JV who are really selfless and playing well. 
And so those guys, along with the five juniors we currently have on varsity, so hopefully they'll be our team leaders next year. What things specifically are you looking to improve in order to have a, another successful season? Um, boy, just uh, continue to get better. And probably improvement-wise, other than just to keep playing baseball, is to get bigger and stronger. So, um, you know, we lift in the winter months, so we'll look to do that again and and just continue to to improve in that way. So. Will there be any new strategies? No, I think it's worked pretty well this year, so we hope to keep kind of implementing what we've done this year and build on that, yeah. Do you have any specific goals going forward to next season? Just get better each day. Yeah, win the day. That's all you can do. That's all. And lastly, what do you believe makes a winning team? Uh, the chemistry, the selflessness, um, and the attitude that the kids bring each and every day to get better. Thank you. Thank you.